Dear students, uh, hello again. Uh, this is video number two of uh, illustrating some tips that will help you construct your bridge. Uh, right now you're looking at the floor uh, uh, upside down and uh, these are the 36 inches long by 3 inches wide balsa uh, planks that you can use for the floor. In this image I'm showing two of them, pushing them towards the outside so that we have a gap in between. You could leave that gap, it's up to you how you design or you could fill it in because you have enough of those plants to cut to fill that. It depends how strong you want or how heavy you want your bridge. Uh, I'm showing right now two of those floor beams that we talked about in the first video. Um, this uh, floor is about seven inches wide and um, the floor beams, if you look closely, they are a little bit longer like we talked about in the first video. So we made these floor beams a little bit longer so that we will be able to connect them to the um, gussets at the bottom of the truss. If you make them flush, a common mistake people do that, then there's no way you can connect that to the gusset. It would become very difficult. Uh, you always make sure to have this longer, half an inch, quarter inch, whatever you think is suitable for your design. All right, and once again, do not if you use such members, do not lay them flat like that. You need to lay them on the edge side up so that they are stronger, they can resist larger loads. Okay, so these floor beams will be at the location of every gusset or every joint at the bottom of the truss where your floor will be connected. Uh, once again, I want to make sure you understand the importance of having these floor beams being a longer than you need them so that they can connect to the gusset plate at the bottom of the truss like we talked about. Uh, normally you would flip this upside down, put the glue on the surface and then hold it in place down by holding it with some ways or just holding it with your finger for a little bit. Uh, especially if you don't put too much glue, it should be able to hold itself in a few seconds. If you need to add weights, you can also do that or clamps to hold it in place.